So here we go, the Challenge Cup, final group game, the Stingrays need a win, any win, to ensure a quarter-final spot ahead of the Coventry Blaze. The puck drops, and we are underway, and first possession established for the Stingrays. They're in their Challenge Cup yellows, and Towner's chasing after this one. Tanaka in there as well, but the play, sorry, the Devils will be able to move it clear. Flips it across the ice, it doesn't quite work out. Walton's onto it. Mitchin crashes the far post. Hotham joins the play late. He's got a crowd to shoot through. And he shoots and scores over the shoulder of Brown. What a start for the Devils. They're on the board inside two minutes and have the lead on the road. Just a wrist shot that got over the shoulder. Oh, Brown, the traffic cleared in front of him. Getting through traffic at neutral ice was Tanaka. On for Knox. Tanaka goes back towards the goal. Richardson blocks the centering pass. Tanaka has it. Still fires the pass across. Lowe's on from the angle. And Will went right across and kicks it away. Kick the net off in the process. It's been one of the main reasons for the Devils' success this season. How well they've used that man advantage. We get an early look at it here. Puck comes across and they've scored through Richardson. All alone as the puck slid across the ice. And his snapshot beats Brown. And it's a 2-0 Devils lead. Great news for the Devils, great news for the Coventry Blaze. And the Stingrays have got work to do. And again, it's Walton who draws the attention as everyone's moving towards the goal as it comes back out. Richardson goes with the straight shot and Brown coming out to meet it isn't able to stop him and it's now Lord sent towards goal it got a tip from Morissette and Brown made the save on the redirect Chilcott can't go up the boards Martin trying to stick handle into a shooting position but Pasha laid down and didn't give him room and that will do it for the first period the whistle sounds as the clock hits all zeros and it's been a good period on the road for the Cardiff Devils their challenge cup progression already secured they'll be second place in group B but at the moment they're helping out the Coventry Blaze referee Mike Hicks called those he has the puck now he drops it for the start of the second period we are underway, Stingrays will be attacking the goal to our left at this period. Well, that's not a good start, and Maguire allows them to just hack it out of the zone. Now Tanaka for Lozon, shooting chance, tries to handle around well and does it superbly. That's wonderful skill from Carl Lozon, forehand to backhand. And Will could do nothing about it. He tried, but not enough. Nice pass from Tanaka to find Lozon. And that is sweet hands from Carl Lozon. That's what the Stingrays needed to burst them into life. 21 seconds into the period. It's back to 2-1. That's a nice little turn, Joey Martin. Moves it on for Lord, trying to go around Jameson. Puck comes across, there's another penalty coming. I think Osman's going to get called here. Osman disagrees. I think he's going to be called for a hook. Osman says he was just trying to lift the stick. But 57 seconds of five on three is coming up here for the Cardiff Devils. That is hooking minor. Hotham. Hudson wants a one-timer, he's not going to get one. Martin tries to feed the pass through traffic. Blocks away. First penalty is about to end. Martin, cross feed. Oh, the broken stick on the play. Cross trace feed and the goal is scored. Put in by Haddad. Just as the first penalty ended, the Devils make it count. The open man at the back post was Joey Haddad. It'll be a power play goal, five on four. Not sure if the Stingrays just switched off as that penalty was coming to an end. 
Good shift from this Stingrays unit. Havato. Tanaka's off the bench to join the play. It's still with Havato. Brings it in. Save is made. The follow up. And Will is down and out of position. And he's managed to tie it up underneath his body. Way outside his crease. And Will called into action on multiple occasions during that shift. We'll take another look at it. Stingrays just trying to catch. Will being a little bit aggressive, delaying the shot, trying to draw him out of position. That was the first of the chances. There was another one that followed. And they can move it forward and breathe for the first time in a minute or so. Stingrays power play forcing them back. Putting them under pressure. Didn't really create a great scoring chance, you wouldn't say. That puck is on the side of the net. Oh, and it's gloved by Brown. Stingrays fans getting irate with referee Hicks again. Good stick lift from Havato, his shot is deflected wide. He goes from another one from a weird angle. Puck bouncing around. And now Jones with the chance to get the Devils moving forward. Poor pass to Osman. Oh, and Clarkson's taken it from him. Final second of the period. And the save is made by Brown and the Stingrays. We're able to try and tie the puck up behind the goal. Nearly a costly error from the Stingrays. Osman trying to bump it forward. And it was blocked by Clarkson. Brown has made a string of good saves in this game. And that was an important one to keep it in a two-goal game. As we move into the second intermission. Mike Hicks has the puck. And the two teams are ready. Well, at least the skaters are. Mike Will is not quite ready. And now that he is, we check with the goal judges. We can drop the puck and get the period underway. Stingrays need to find at least two from somewhere. Overtime or a shootout win, remember, will do. Lord, pass out towards Morissette, and he just got crowded out. The Stingrays. Swarmed around him, Jameson has carried this one a long way, sent towards goal, off the stick and covered at the second attempt by Will. He was beaten 21 seconds into the second period. It wasn't what was intended, Tanaka. Across to Galbraith. Oh, it's nice from Galbraith around, Hendricks plays the pass across and it's all a little too tight in the slot. Devils defenseman done a really good job of clogging up scoring areas as they do again. As the pass intended for Tanaka is blocked away. Tried to backhand it towards goal. And Jameson looked like he was pulled back. Indeed he was. Hudson got his arm on the shoulder. And that's an easy call for Hicks to make. Holding. We'll send Hudson to the box. The Stingrays go on their third power play of the game. Now Braith. Can't take it any further. He'll go chasing after Richardson. Nice stop by Richardson. He doesn't play the pass. Lozon, what a save! Lozon just slashed it on goal. And he went right into the body of Will. Who was square to it. Mayer. Together with Hendricks. And now Tanaka. Frederick. Frederick's allowed to skate it in, he's allowed to score! Now we've got a game on our hands. It's Will Frederick on the power play. And the Stingrays Challenge Cup hopes are still alive. Just unchallenged as he moves into the slot. Again, you can see him stepping up from the left point. And the Devils just all back away. And there is traffic in front of Will, his own defenseman. Have the control it needed. It's the race crowd coming to life every time their team move forward. Lozon's got room. Lozon into the blocker and into the pads of oh, Mike Will. Again, shooting around a screen as Walton comes all the way through and Jameson helps out his netminder. 
with an intervention. Davis trying to go cross ice. Read by the Devils and taken away. Jones, Haddad. Pass was intended for Clarkson. It comes to Batch who fired it into traffic and it went all the way through and out the other side. Could it be a game changer? Meyer. Meyer shoots in and out of the glove, knocks his onto it. Tries to play the bank in off the back of the netminder. And he got across to his right hand post, it will. Now with one second less than three minutes to play. And we are in for a grandstand finish, that's for sure. Good work from Havato. Shot into the body, it comes back out. The puck is still loose, and now it's covered. The extra attacker was on for the Stingrays. We've not had a lot of afters following the whistles. It's the first time words have been exchanged. And Lozon has got 20 seconds to get the Stingrays moving forward again. It's going to be dramatic if it's going to happen at all. Lozon tries to reverse it. Oh, and the shot from Tanaka is saved by Will. Still an opportunity if Davis can get it across, he can't. Culligan keeps it, moves it down, and the final hooter sounds. And it will be the Coventry Blaze that progress to the Challenge Cup quarterfinals. It won't be the Stingrays. For the first time in three seasons, the Stingrays will not make it to the quarterfinal stage. And the Devils have another road win.